We understand that we have uh, Brian Marsh on the phone. He is uh, an eyewitness to this plane going down. Brian, are you with us? Good evening. I am. Good evening. Brian, what did you see? Uh, my wife and my wife and I just picked up our children. We were driving down Central uh, West towards Streeter. We could see the plane in the air. Um, it made a turn uh, northbound, like north, and I thought it was turning towards the airport to make a land, like for landing. Uh, as soon as it turned, it almost like it stalled, and I described it as like a those stunt planes that do those aerials, like they do the dives towards the ground. It just turned and went straight towards the ground. It looked like they tried to pull out of it, but it was too late. My wife's like, that's residential, and then we saw the flames and the smoke. Brian, was there any indication of smoke coming from the plane or any sort of trouble uh, other than, obviously, the attitude of that plane uh, so close to the ground? I saw no smoke, no nothing coming from the plane while it was in the air. Brian, what were the conditions at that very moment? Uh, it was drizzling. I mean, it's like you, everyone can see on the news, it's cloudy. There was a drizzle, um, but it wasn't raining hard. Um, yeah. So you were in your car, I presume, uh, if it's raining, the windows are up, and you're not going to hear if there's sort of sputtering or anything. Did you notice the propellers? Were they moving? No, I didn't notice that. I, I, saw, I just saw a plane turn, and that was the first thing that caught my eye. And, you know, and I didn't see anything. It didn't look like the plane was in any kind of, you know, there's no smoke, no fire, anything. Just when it turned, it seemed like it lost power, and it made it dive towards the ground. But I didn't hear anything. You know, t communities like this tend to know their neighbors. Uh, you driving in that neighborhood with your wife and children, did you know anybody on this block uh, that's been affected? I don't. I, it, uh, we had picked my children up from my parents' house and we're driving back to ours, and this would be kind of right in the center between our houses. Um, so, no, but I heard when I was waiting for you guys to come on, there is a school almost right across the street, a couple blocks over from where this happened. So. You know, it's a it's a residential area, and this is a neighborhood uh, in which you lived. Your proximity very close to this. You obviously see airplanes coming and going every day, all the time. There's always small planes coming and going from Riverside Airport. And have you ever recalled seeing anything like this or or trouble to this degree in that area? Nothing like this. Um, we live about I would say a half a mile from the crash that happened I think two years ago on Adams Street, where the plane crashed into the front of the house. So. This isn't the first time I've seen this happen, but this is the first time I've witnessed it in person. Tell me what the what your your neighbors, your friends that live in this area, um, you, I'm sure that you've talked to some of them. Uh, what your feeling is right now? I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it's you know, I my kids. The first thing they said to me was, "Did everyone make it?" And I told them, I said, "Tell my kids, honey, there's no way that everyone survived that crash. I mean, it's horrible. I mean, I." I, I've heard a little bit on the news about the, you know, people they pulled from the wreckage, and uh, there was at least one fatality. I mean, it's horrible. I feel horrible for the people that were in that house, if there were, you know, when the plane crashed, the people in the plane, and the, the neighbors. Like, it's it's a horrible situation. What, what did you do immediately after you saw this? Well, as soon as it happened, my wife called 911. Um, she was put on hold. She said, "I we just saw a plane crash. Gave her coordinates." They put her on hold, but they never came back. But the police were there within less than two minutes. We saw the police driving down the street. We pulled over to the side, but there were a lot of, it's an odd area to get in and out of that residential area. So there were a lot of cars pulling down towards there, and I didn't want to congest any more traffic. So we kind of waited off to the side, hoping that 911 would call us back if they needed our information because we witnessed it in the air. Um, and then ultimately, we saw the police and fire trucks coming, so we headed home. It is a devastating scene for sure. Um, how far, again, are you from this area? Um, I'm probably like a mile from it, but at the time, we were about six blocks from where the crash happened when, when we saw it go down. Are you seeing any smoke even a mile out for where you are, where you are currently? Yeah, I mean, we could see it clearly uh, going uh, as we were coming home. Currently, right now, it's pretty dark, so I don't know if I would see anything from where I'm at now. Uh, Brian Marsh, thanks for uh, taking the time to talk with us and uh, walk us through what you saw.
get more latest news just subscribe me.